at work and I got this 40, uh, I got an email and a 40 page PDF basically spelling out like why my case wasn't sexual harassment and I just started bawling. What ruined my case is like the fact that I wasn't harassed enough. It's like if I'd gotten my ass grabbed only five more times, like maybe I'd have a case, but it's like I have to get harassed so many times for it to be a sexual harassment case. You can't look at a pattern and realize this person's a predator. Are you serious? Kobo Feldmanstern and I'm a staff social worker in the University Health Services, specifically in the Counseling and Psychological Services Department at the Tank Center. Well, they're not good. I think a big one is often problems with depression and like just mood um, feeling a lot of like hopelessness and feeling defeated and day to day maybe feeling tired is like not being able to sleep well, sometimes having problems with eating, sometimes going to thoughts of not wanting to be alive or, you know, self-harm. Um, for some people that might look like using substances, for someone else that might be like eating a ton. Um, so it really can kind of go in a lot of different directions. I was not bawling because of the result. I was bawling because of how they phrased the result. Because the language they used in it, instead of saying, um, like the language I used was he grabbed my ass, the language he used was tapped my butt. And so the language in the report was tapped her butt. That's why I became really invested in these types of issues because I'm not traumatized by it because like I didn't go through trauma but I did go through the experience of what it's like to know that something's wrong and have someone be like no it's not and like that person was Berkeley. <laughs>